Hey guys, it's Wizware 100 and well, it's been another month again, so this is the vlog detailing all the stuff that happened in January. Come on and take a listen if you're watching and if you're doing something in the background. So here goes, the January vlog of the new year 2016. Okay, so I didn't do a well, saying I didn't do a whole lot of video wouldn't be exactly correct, but not so much for in terms of reviews, but here are the videos you may have missed. The one of them is the Batman and Robin movie log that me and D Tysonator did when we uh, saw it relatively after New Year's. So, so yeah, so it was his first time watching it out of the original Batman quadrilogy. Is that the right word? And uh, my first time watching it in its entirety. And well, you get to see our reaction to that video, or to that movie, and, well, take a listen to it. Um, we talk about a bunch of random stuff about the movie. Uh, another thing is, recently, I did the jazz punk, uh, I did a jazz punk commentary with Hitman, uh, jazz punk with Hitman commentary, where we did, we just, like, talk, talk about the game that's being played, and, uh, we're actually having more plans for other uh, videos in the future, and I didn't realize it took me two years to find the game that I wanted to like commentate over in the background with uh, Hitman, because I wanted to find a game that was within, like, you can play within the hour, or watch it within in the hour, because I don't think you would sit around just to watch two guys uh, talk about the game for like an extended period of time. Now, I'm not saying there aren't people that would watch it, but I'd highly you know, would like you guys to go check it out on uh, the Wiz Hitman channel. So, yeah, we're also changing. I'm also like um, changing the uh, restrictions I placed around. So, well, well, we'll do any game we want, but like each video would like at most be an hour long. So it's just like cut it up into parts so you can also keep track of it. And an hour is like uh, what I want to aim for. And now that we're going to do all that, we're going to be able to do some long games. Some longer games, and that means we're just going to have to cut and edit a couple of things in it. So, because one of the games I wanted to do was Sanitarium, and uh, we both wanted to commentate on that. And apparently, since I'm the one that's better at the game, I'm going to be the one that's playing it. So, I got to... So, and if we want to do it on the on for commentary, we're going to have to do that. Sorry for the rambling on. But yeah, uh, Jazz Punk Wiz Hitman commentary. Go check it out on Wiz Hitman. I'll try and remember to leave a link. If I don't, remind me, please. Uh, now, if you have been... Now, while you're on Wiz Hitman, check out the continuation of me and Mini Ninjas uh, playing through the entirety of Curse and Chaos on PC by Tribute Games, a company which has been getting better since their since their game Wizard, which I didn't fucking like. I know they did other games before that, but I really hated Wizard. But yeah, we're... We, we're continuing playing that. I have... There's two more videos to that to be uploaded, but right now there's uh, six videos being uploaded of it, so... So, take a watch, listen, check out the game, or check us out playing the game, because the game is quite repetitive, but hey, at least watch someone else play it. I mean, you got Wiz War and Mini Ninjas. Alright, plans for next month. Well, I'm still going to rehab for that car accident, so, uh, and it's still continuing on for quite a while, so that's why you're not seeing any reviews going on, but, um, I'll be back, I'll be back. Uh, after the rehab is done, then it's back to, like, reviewing stuff. You might be asking, like, why would that prevent me from, why would rehab prevent me from, uh, from reviewing. Well, there's just a whole bunch of other things involved, so I'm gonna keep quiet about that, but I'm just gonna say I'll probably be back uh, definitely sometimes this year, sometime early this year, not, you know, at the end near November or something, but don't worry, I'll be back with uh, video reviews and all that stuff and things I want to do and so forth. But that's not to say I can't do some other stuff in the meantime, because one of the other things I want to do is since, uh, in the course of my of my my rehab and just re in, and recovery, I have been playing a lot more games lately, and I kind of want to talk about them. And if you remember the uh, video game logs, I kind of want to do that because 
I don't quite want to review some of the games I played in like a video game reviewing format, but just kind of sit down and and talk as if I'm talking with you about the game because some of them are just really short and it's just kind of like mm, I wouldn't really put that as like the review material for like a big review video, so I would just talk about it in the video game vlog. Um, it might ramble on quite a bit because I'm very scattered brain apparently, and I don't remember stuff. And after I record, I'll be like, "Oh, I forgot to mention this," but I'll try to do the best. I can, and at least, you know, let you know what's up. Games I got. Well, I didn't get too many games, but I did get some, apparently. And like I said in previous vlogs before, every time I think I didn't get any games, and I look through my, uh, look through what I got, and I'm like, oh yeah, I got that game. Because usually it's a bundle, or like on the very uncommon occasion, I actually do buy a game. Hey, you! Sorry. Yeah, I got sick too, by the way. Which is also uncommon too, because I usually don't get sick. But anyway, so I got The Long Dark, because I saw uh, Hitman play it on uh, Steam, and I was like, hmm, this looks very intriguing. And it was on sale, so I got it, and, well, for the money I bought it for, I'd say it was pretty much... The price is right. I won't say it's worth it because it is still because the game at this time is still in beta, and that's one of the games I want to talk about in the video game while it's, you know in its beta stage. But uh, the price is right. I think I should just say that when I want to say when I don't quite want to say that the game is worth it for the price because oh for ten ninety nine I guess the price is right. But like the original price before the sale twenty one ninety nine at the current state it is in no no. I'm gonna. Have, the game's gonna have to really improve to earn that the the original price it was going for. But 10.99 at, at its current stage, yeah, the price is right. I'd say. And the other game I got is uh, thanks to Down Phoenix is uh, Portal 2. I haven't because uh, I beat Portal 1 uh, last month or well in December, and I was talking about it. And DP, and, uh, DP was like, "Oh, hey, you should play Portal 2. It's so much better, you know that stuff. Here, I gift you a." Go gifted you a copy, we should play it sometime, and I'm like, cool, thanks Justin, uh, I will if you ever get, uh, get around to actually playing that with me instead of commenting on my videos, which I also don't mind, but yeah, thanks for the, uh, gift of that game, now I get to check out Portal 2. So here are the things I've done, I've done quite a couple of things, and, uh, well here they are. Uh, let's see, one of them is, I finally, finally sat, or not sat my ass off, got myself to like, beat through one of the endings in Fallout 4, cause, uh, in Fallout 4, I just, I wouldn't say I dicked around that much, but for the most part, I did, so I'd be, instead of going through the main plot, and doing the, the, uh, the main quest, I just went around just exploring the wasteland, collecting stuff, and just, you know, doing all the cool stuff in it, and, I, you know, I enjoyed that part, but it's like, I wasn't getting around to the ending. I, I didn't want it to be like with Fallout 2, where I got really, really deep into it, never finished it, or New Vegas, where, due to certain circumstances, I couldn't finish it. So I wanted to at least see one of the endings. So I went with uh, the Brotherhood ending. That's no spoiler or anything, because there's the Brotherhood in every single... Pretty much every single game, and there's always going to be at least, you know, their type of ending. I mean... One did it, sort of. Three did it. Um, New Vegas did it, and well, obviously here it it's not a spoiler or anything. It's like I chose one of the endings. So I finally sat through that and did it. Uh, I want, I do want to go back to it and do the other endings for it too, and see the outcome of that, either for completion's sake or just because, like, yeah, it's mostly for completion's sake because I want to see like how it turns out. Like even if I did we weed, even if I did read the. Um, the spoilers for it, and yeah. But anyway, so fish technically, I completed Fallout Three. Or I down Phoenix did Fallout Four. I completed Fallout Four technically. Uh, a couple of other games that I I finished, they're actually much smaller games. One of them was Gunpoint, like um, which is another game that me me and Hitman or Hitman and I have commentated on. The Wiz Hitman playlist of uh, videos that we commentate on, and 
that one is actually one of the better. That one is actually one of the better ones, I gotta say. Like, even though, you know, I'd like to praise my own, but uh, the Gunpoint video was the one I liked watching the most out of the ones we did. So I definitely go check that out. Uh, another game that I beat was Another Perspective. I'm wondering whether to actually do it for a commentary. I wouldn't. I don't think so. It's not. It's a fun game, but like only it's one of those games that's more for s enjoying for yourself and not so much uh, for dual commentary. So no, I don't think I would really pick that. Not that it's a bad game, just not good enough to be for some commentary about it. Uh, another one was Savant Ascent, which it was not the game I thought it was. Was it wasn't Axiom, the or whatever that Metroid-like game was that looks similar to this game's name. But, yeah, so, so I played it and beat it. It's really short, and I was really disappointed with that, because the game was actually pretty damn cool. Uh, original, it's unique, I'll say that, and I'm starting to congest right now. Because of, uh, like, I recovered from my, from, like, I think it was the flu, but it, it's still kind of lingering around, lingering around, so, yeah. Savant Ascent is... It's a neat game, and I beat it, because it's only three levels long, and I was like, that really sucks. Because I wanted more! And all the other modes don't really help it as much as it would like to think it is, but yeah, moving on. And of course, the game I was talking about a few times earlier, Jazz Punk! Because uh, I, I had to play it, or I didn't have to play it, I played it, checked it out, and I was like, oh, hey, I beat this game in like, X number, in like a very short hour. So it's like, yeah, that's what I'm gonna commentate on. And so I, and so we did. Oh man, I need to remember not to blow my nose so hard or else I'm gonna hemorrhage again. Note to all of you not to blow your nose so hard. And the last thing I did is watch a couple of old shows and some new shows. Uh, mainly while I'm playing the game, so I kind of watch it in the background. I do that quite a bit. So, you know, when I'm playing Fallout 4 or any other game, it's just like I have it playing on one side of, uh, of my screen. Kind of which I had another dual monitor for like a uh, same ratio as this because I did have you might you might notice in my previous vlogs I had like two monitors but those were like uh what was it 1600 by 800 ratio but this one's a uh, uh, 9 9 1920 by 1080 so and it doesn't mix well with each other so that's why that's why I went back to this screen because it's HD Anyway, so some of the shows I watched was, uh, the ones I can list off the top of my head or the list I made was the entire season of Metabots, because I've seen it before when I was young and I enjoyed it, but I never saw all of it, so... So, uh, I got to finally see all the episodes, both season one and two, and season two, everyone hates season two, and I can... or, everyone really, like, disliked season two, and... And, and I can definitely see why, especially if you really love the first season, which is really good. Uh, season 2 is not that bad, but it's really frustrating. It is a really frustrating season, though, because all, all, the, all the changes they did. But, uh, you know, that's for another subject if I ever talk about it. Thank you for sleeping on me, PC. So that's one of them. And another one that... Um, Another one that I was watching, kind of, mostly sort of by accident, because I was trying to look up, like, Cantonese dub the anime, because, I don't know, I'm just like, I gotta go look up the stuff, and then I came across this one, this one, uh, video that I was just gonna check for a little bit, but I ended up watching it, it's called Kanan. I, I, I originally called it Ken, in the C-A-N-A-A-N, but, uh, Kanan sounds way, way cooler, so I'm gonna stick with calling it that if I remember remember that but every time I see it I call it canon but basically it's act it's a type moon uh, creation which uh, when I was watching it I was like this looks very much like fate stay night or like you know by people who made it and guess what it was by type moon and I gotta say I kind of I, I kind of uh, no I, I enjoyed watching it because otherwise because I was actually watching like a compilation video of it where it's like all the episodes were like combined into one so, so, hey, if you got me to watch, like, uh, one hour of, like, all of, like, a compilation of the episodes, oh, I would have to say I kind of enjoyed it. Uh, I, I don't know, with the Tight Moon stuff, like, I always enjoy it enough to, like, just sit there and watch it. 
like, not quite being a fan of it, but it's very, 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 uh, interesting or, like, uh, or entertaining enough that I sit there to watch the entire thing, so, uh, yeah, and Kanan's only 13 episodes, so that was, like, about three hours, uh, of it. Uh, unfortunately, I watched the last part of it and then kind of went backwards to it, so whatever happened in the first part, I'm just gonna be like, oh, don't worry, they're gonna win. Well, obviously, but still. Kind of one of those, like, uh, should have watched it from the order in, but it was like, uh, the first part got copyrighted, even though... Even though the... Even though it's not by the right company. Okay, kind of like with Fundimation, like, uh, sometimes it's like... Uh, what was it? What was it? Like, I'll watch something that's actually dubbed by TVB and they got the rights to it, but Fundimation, or like some company like that, I'm, I'm picking Fundimation because usually when I would run into a problem, usually they're responsible for it. They'd, they'd claim it and be like, nope. Oh, what? This broadcast was in China, Hong Kong, Asia, whatever. Nope. We're Fundimation. It's ours. You can't watch it. Fuck you, okay? Like, I get it because it's the same, it's the exact same show. But it's not your part of the right for it. Like, you get what I mean? Like, it's part of, like... Like, the property is the same, but it's not their property. Okay, because it was, uh... It was licensed in Asia. And if it was claimed, like, copyrighted by the people that owned it in Asia... I can't complain, but it's like... Some other company copyrighted it, and I'm just like... Fuck you. Although it makes me want to look for it online, but finding it, uh, finding like the TVB J2 dub of like anime is just like really, it's really, really tricky and like really tough if you don't do a um, good enough search for it. But uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not usually a big anime watcher, but whenever it's dubbed in like uh, Cantonese, I'm just like, I gotta watch and see how this turns out. If it turns out really good and I'm like, yeah, and on some other occasion they'll be really bad and I'm just like, Yeah, I'm really, I'm really like dragging this part on, but uh, you know, I just, it, see, it's just fascinating. Tight Moon just does stuff that makes me want to watch it and then just talk about it. Uh, oh, I gotta say, I've have seen like briefly all three dubs of it, including like you know the TVB, but the TVB one was completely full. Uh, all three dubs, like Cantonese, Japanese, and the English, they're all actually pretty good. So if you get a chance to watch Kanan. I'd go check it out. It's kind of, uh, it's quite entertaining. Mm, let's see, um... Uh, Alright, moving on. Uh, one of the other shows I watch, and this is gonna be the last one, is the original TNMT, uh, 1987 cartoon. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and, you know, for some reason, you're that out of a loop with, like, culture, TV culture and whatnot, so... I got to see it, see it, and I gotta say it, while I liked 2003 version a lot, I also really enjoy the 1987 version, like, in its own way. It's, uh, it's quite, it's very, very, very entertaining with all the, like, dumb, dumb stuff they go through. And it's just a lot of fun to watch. Uh, when it got, when it tried to be, when it got to season 8, 8, 9, and 10, or at least, you know, when it got to that series where, where it was, like, really dark and it went very Batman on you, I didn't like that part. Those, those parts really sucked. Okay, it didn't suck that bad, but I just really didn't like it. It was just like, it's like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles gotta be really dark, or... Oh, it wasn't being really dark, it was just like, it went to that mood that just was like, I came to watch TMNT, like, you know, like, uh, season one through seven type stuff, the comedic stuff, the, you know pop culture reference and all that stuff. I came to watch comedy, not to watch some dark version of it. If I wanted to watch some dark version of it, I'd want to watch the 2003. So basically what I'm saying is TMNT, like season one through seven, it was really good at what it was doing for like the theme they went through and went through and when it went to like, just like the, like the, the, the dark night kind of stuff, it was just like, I'm not really enjoying this that much. Like I, like I did watch whatever I could, whatever episode I could catch, but I was just like, no, like I was just really bored. Like, it, like just the the tone of it just kind of changed like slightly, but it was enough to make me be like, this is really boring. It's really boring. It's just like I just, 
And I completely blanked. I just, I don't know what happened. Like, all the other episodes, like, I can remember the stuff that happened, and they were a lot more interesting in, in its own way, but... Season 8, 9... I didn't see 10, but I assume it's just gonna be the same. Just... No. Okay. So that's it for, uh, this vlog of, uh, January 2016. I hope you enjoyed taking a listen and, uh, me keeping up to date with you on what's going on. So, yeah, have a nice day and stay tuned for more as I'll be back sometime later. No, sometime early this year. So stay tuned for more from Wizard World 100. See ya!